Okay guys, today what we're doing is we're looking at a movie called Christmas Crush. And what we're doing here is we're looking at the manipulation of the mind, literally. What they're doing here is very simple. When you look up at the sun in the sky, you don't see a five-pointed star. Okay. Now, what they're doing here with this movie is they're, um, I believe, okay, that this was added after the, f the film was shot. This is digitally added. I, I don't think that it's there. If it is there, if it was placed there during the shots, what this means is is that someone, that the crew, was literally going around, um, not in behind this actor here. It's the other female actor that's going to be the biggest problem. That means somebody would have to physically put that star up there, remove, up, remove, up, remove multiple times. Clearly an intent of purpose. So let's just say that for now that this Baphomet star was placed there physically. It was just glued onto the backboard. So now we're going to look at the female side of the character. So I'm going to skip forward here and as you can see from this shot all the stars look normal. Okay, Everything looks fine. There's no nothing upside down here. Um, there will be shots now where the camera will come in closer to his shoulder and you're going to see it. But the you got to understand something. The angle doesn't match up with what's behind there. What you're going to be seeing is, is this. Um, over here in this area, you're going to be seeing an upside down star. It won't be fully upside down. They're very careful how they did this. So it looks normal. You see the star here? One of these stars is going to move up here and it's going to be flipped. Let's continue watching this. So back to him. Good. Let's go move, move it a bit forward. And here is that star. Okay? It right behind her. Right there. So again, the angle of the camera does not match up for a change. This would have to be physically done on purpose where someone went there and actually placed the star upside down like that okay let's go back again I can show you this from the other side as you can see here there's nothing there this star here is right side up and so is that one let's go a few more sections deep into this to see what's going on here as you can see here all the stars from this angle are also right side up Again, we have the upside down star. Continues on and it goes on and on. And again. No stars. All the way there. Okay? Nothing there. Now, we're going to go forward a bit more. And here it is again. There's another star next to it. Nothing here. This star is a right side up. It's not upside down, not sideways. That is right side up from that camera angle, and so is that one, so is that one. Okay, so let's continue forward again. It's not right side up. We're going to keep going, and again, the same thing. It's not right side up. You can clearly tell that it's somebody tilted it, and again, there's nothing here. And from this uh, section later on, nothing here again. So what's going on here is, is someone is placing this thing in there between the shots, between the cuts. Now, later in the movie, another actor shows up. Continue on. And when he shows up, which is his character here, now you're going to see the wall and what it really looks like. can see all the stars from this side. You can see another one here. No stars here. And here is that star that we're supposed to be looking at. Completely in a different wrong place. Let's keep going here.
again. So what they're doing is someone's manipulating this image. That one never moves, but these ones do. So one of the crews, the crews of, of the uh, movie set are putting this thing back up to the top, forward and back all the time. They're trying to mess with your head. See, there's nothing here again. They keep doing this thing over and over again throughout this entire shot. And let's keep going here. Nothing there anywhere. There's nothing to be seen anywhere. And we keep going here. And again, it shows up here again. But this time, it's further away from her. Now the camera's right on top of his shoulder, but this is not here. Notice that it's further away. So somebody's moving it while the sh between the shots. And again, you can see the board here in the back. Okay, you can see it here where the sock is. Okay. And it just keeps going like that over and over again where the stars keep changing position. Okay. What they're doing here is simple. They're, they're manipulating the position of the stars. You see here, now this one's at the top and it wasn't there before. Um, again, right side up, star. Um, all I can say is that if, if done digitally, this would involve time because you would have to uh, roto track and manipulate the back, okay? So the easiest way would be for somebody to just do this while the shots were taking place in between the cuts, okay? So uh, one of the things that I don't like is when you're being deceived right in front of you and you notice there's nothing here, no, no stars anywhere, nothing to the top like you've seen before. So obviously these things were being placed between the cuts. I believe it's for a reason. It's to get that star. You see here again and again. They change the stars again. We'll go back again. No stars. You notice? <laughs> so what I believe is the intention was to get both the Baphomet stars in front of you without you realizing. Now we know the back one, I'm going to go back here, they never bothered to change that one because it's already upside down and it's further away from the crew, it's just sitting up there. And if the crew went around and changed the star, obviously the, these people might be distracted, these other actors in the back, so they just left that one in place. But the one beside her shoulder, that is clear, blatantly added. That has nothing, it's not there in some of the shots. So obviously this was changed and it was changed and added between the each shot, between the cuts, okay? And as you can see here, again, there's nothing here at the top. They're not, they're not even anywhere near those lights. So I, I noticed this when I was briefly looking at this scene and I thought, well, this is just something's odd about this. It looks to me like they completely rearranged these stars a certain way to make it look like a certain way. Then you can see there's no stars anywhere here at the top. Okay, nowhere near those lights. But if you go over to the other sections that I was showing you, you c I mean, they're right there by the light. So if you go to the other shots, there's nothing there near the lights. Okay, now there is some, a, a shot here that briefly should show you the background of what it, what it looks like. Uh, and I believe I just uh, showed it to you before, that one there. And again, where's the stars? So what I'm seeing now is Hallmark, okay, which is the maker of, the, of this movie, the producer, um, is really pushing these um, signs onto the watchers of these movies. You got to understand this is supposed to be a Christmas movie, not a you know, occultic movie. And that's what they're doing. This Baphomet star is an occultic symbol. Okay? So we have to understand that these guys will stop at nothing, okay, to show you these, these items. But they do it subtle. Okay? They have to do this very subtly because they don't want you to digest it too fast and see, oh, oh that's they're showing us that star again. Uh, they, they want you to understand that, 
yeah, this is normal. As you can see here, again, this is a completely different thing than what you see in several of the shots. These stars don't exist in some of the shots. So they're manipulating the shot without giving you a clue because the actors don't change positions. They're still sitting down. The background is what changes. But you don't notice it because they put the big glass of wine, uh, the bowl here, and you know the dialogue, the, the piano Christmas music, so you don't realize what's going on behind the scene. Pay attention to behind the scenes. I'm, I'm uh, suspecting here that Hallmark is doing this in a lot of their movies, where the backgrounds between the cuts are being changed to suit a specific narrative. So please watch out. Uh, I think this is called Christmas Crush. And I was briefly going through Ion TV through just watching it for a few minutes. And I watched this, and I thought, I couldn't believe what I was watching. The background was changing on me. I thought, this is impossible. It really is changing on you. You just don't realize it until you take the movie, take the, uh, make a sequence out of it into uh, f uh, picture files, and go briefly through one another, and you start seeing that, they, yes, they did do that. It is being manipulated, okay? Because most of the shots here don't match up with each other. It's funny because the front shot matches, okay, the actors. It's just the background that's being changed in between the cuts, okay? So pay attention. Hallmark, uh, we're on to you. We know what you're doing. And, uh, this is blatant, you know, with your little Baphomet stars. Uh, stars don't have five points. When you look at the sun, you don't see five points, okay? So be aware of that. And uh, this will be the last video for this year. And... Uh, Hope everyone's having a good uh, Merry Christmas, and uh, have a Happy New Year, and be careful, don't drink too much, don't go crazy. Have a good day.